on the old scooter project. Now then, last video. So we need some sort of self-defense mechanism. I have a plan, because we have now acquired a lot of space under our seat. Right, let's go down. Oh. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh. Have a look under here. Now, you see, I can nearly get my head under here. And my mum always used to say, Colin, if you can get your head in it, you can fit a flamethrower there. And I was like, you're right. That's what we're going to do. So we're going to have deployable flamethrowers. Yes. Right. Let's uh, let's have a bit of a a bit of a put of stuff together up on the old bench. See what we're doing, and then we're going to get on and do it. <laughs> so this piece of uh, metal is basically going to go up underneath the seat, and then we'll get a bit of metal. We'll put that down there. That will give a bit of strength. And then we're going to have our flame throwing barrels. So we'll have one each side. Now they'll sit under the seat. That's going to sit there like that. And then we're going to get them to move out with a, with a, you know, with some sort of oh, a linear actuator. Yes, we've got one of them. This is going to sit here and go over the top of the bar, but connect onto the flame tube. So when we deploy that, this will move out, and then it will move back in again. Now, simply bearings. Where I get all my bearings from? various different sizes we've got 25 mil, we've got 20 I've got some 16 on order the 25s might be a little bit too big but what we're gonna do we're gonna have them mounted on some like collars or something here and then attached to these flame tubes we're gonna have some little rails but one side will be thinner than the other so the other side will be able to slide over the top of that one so the bearings can be opposite each other and they can still go in and out so that's what's gonna happen here so we just need to make these barrels, and I'm going to get flashed, they're going to have all holes in, little ignition system, the solenoid valve mounted inside there as well to save space, and then there'll be a little gas reservoir on the back here. Right, let's make all this, and then we'll sort this bit out in the middle, and they are, and this was kind of like a, a this old Tony, tribute, I suppose. It's like, rah, 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 rah. Right, anyway, let's get on with it. You've got your strip back soundtrack banging on the bedroom wall. And if the wolf pack falls back, dodging every chance of a brawl. A violent cocktail, XL, using every trick in the book. A little telltale breath now, missing with the chance of the hooks. And if you can't get back. Okay, test time. Got my gas chamber, got my solenoid valve, got my spark igniter. But will the spark igniter light the gas on its own? Because normally I use a pilot light, which definitely lights it. But of course it's nice to not have pilot lights running all the time, because they get hot and this thing's going to be sat under my seat and I don't want to burn my leggings, do me? No! Fire the solenoid valve. Now we've only got one bar in at the moment, which is not a lot. We're going to blow the shit up again, do we Colin? So, That's no good. 
because if I show you now what it does with a pilot knife, you'll see the difference. You do need a pilot light. I'm gonna do that again. <laughs> Check this out, look. Door, open! So I'm gonna have two of them under my seat. Yes. But never mind that, what film is this from? The bowl and type of cereal has nothing to do with it, by the way. <laughs> Answers in the comments. <laughs> nothing to do with this project, obviously, but you know, I... <laughs> Anyway, let's make this pilot light. <laughs> Okay, so got the pilot light, basically just uh, turn the gas on under here, flick the ignition, that's working, and then of course, oh no, oh this is not good, I'm melting the 3D printed blooming, ugh, can't have it on that eye, can I? Pass, take it a bit, paint it, polish it up, whack it on the scooter, and give it a test, and that will look like this! Okay, phase one complete, stereo, rims, hydraulic crate seat and flamethrowers. Now there's going to be full test video at the end of phase two. Because I mean this flamethrower, that was only on like a one and a half bar. We can go up to nearly five bars. This thing is going to bolt and then all oh, my leg hair will get singed. Now then, stay tuned. Three videos on this one thing's enough for the time being. We'll do a couple of other things and then we'll come back to it. Subscribe! You don't want to miss it! It's Connie First YouTube channel!